Hello everyone, welcome back to My Chem Corner. So in today's video, we're starting with questions from class 10 NCRT book. So we're starting with the very first chapter, uh, which is chemical reactions and equations. So basically in this chapter, you're learning more about reactions. You're learning about types of reactions. You're learning about um, how you're going to form the products or once you form the products, then is this particular reaction through a displacement reaction? Is it through a double displacement? Do we have redox reactions in this? If yes, then which one undergoes oxidation? Which one undergoes reduction? And, and many more uh, topics as such right so in that moving on to the very first question in the exercise of the textbook it says which of the following statements about the reaction below is incorrect we're not looking at what statement is correct we're looking at those statements which are incorrect so the equation here is lead oxide plus carbon giving lead plus carbon dioxide so option a here is written as lead is getting reduced b is carbon dioxide is getting oxidized C is carbon is getting oxidized and D is lead oxide is getting reduced. And we, these are the statements given. Out of this, we need to say which of these are correct and which is incorrect. And there are options given to us from 1 to, 3, 1 to 4. We need to find out which of these statements are incorrect about this particular equation. So before we move into finding out what the answer is, let's understand when we say about these options here, they are talking about reduced and oxidized, which means reduction and oxidation. All right. So here we'll study this equation first, then move into what these statements are stating. So as we can see here, we have 2 PBO plus carbon giving 2 PB plus carbon dioxide so this is the equation given to us it's balanced equation all right so now when we say reduced and oxidized it nothing means oxidation and reduction itself okay so we have oxidized meaning oxidation so oxidation i'm going to just go right oxidized here and if i'm talking with respect to reduction it simply means reduced all right now when we learn in the chapter we will learn about the definitions of oxidation and reduction okay basic definition of an oxidation or a reduction is when you look at oxidation oxidation meaning it is addition of oxygen as the name says all right addition of oxygen so in the other way when you look at reduction it is going to be addition of hydrogen all right or we can say in the other terms removal of hydrogen for oxidation and removal of oxygen for reduction any one way you can learn so you know the other definition correctly okay so here in this case when you look at oxidation you need to see that particular compound that has undergone oxidation which means oxygen is added so when i look at pbo it already had an oxygen when it got converted from pbo to pb what has happened oxygen that was there on the reactant side has been removed and only pb is there in the product side so because oxygen is removed another definition of reduction as per oxygen is removal of oxygen so here pbo has undergone a reduction all right or it has been reduced let's see what happens to carbon carbon on the reactant side was just carbon and when it moved to the products it has become carbon dioxide so what has happened carbon has gained two oxygen that means carbon has allowed addition of oxygen so here carbon will be undergoing oxidation or carbon is oxidized so these are the statements which are true as per the equation so which are these equations which are these statements over here the statement here is c carbon is getting oxidized that's what we saw here lead oxide is getting reduced that's what we saw these are the statements which are true what are the other statements saying lead is getting reduced if lead has to get reduced lead should have oxygen with it but it is not getting reduced so that means option a is incorrect 
carbon dioxide is getting oxidized carbon dioxide is already having oxygen it is not getting oxidized further right instead carbon is getting oxidized so carbon dioxide is getting oxidized is also another statement which is incorrect so from this 1 to 4 you need to find that equation which is having both option a and option b so here the first option here option a and b these two are incorrect as per this first uh, equation given to us okay so before we, we move into answering this particular question first identify what is the definition of oxidation and reduction based on the equation given to us whether the equation is having oxygen or hydrogen accordingly learn the definition once that is done since the uh, e the question clearly says you need to find that equation which is incorrect you first study the equation and get the possible e uh, information out of it once you know okay these are the true e uh, events that is happening in the equation leave those two and then find out which are the other incorrect statements accordingly try to find the answer all right